when it comes to Chicago weather, remember, it could always be worse. Here is a live look outside. Now that it feels like winter, snow is on the way. Yeah, but just remember, we've dealt with 50s in January. It's been very mild. Mm -hmm. We've been very lucky, and now our luck's going to run out. <laughs> Cold air is here, Robin Erica, and then the snow, but not on Friday. We're going to be dry through tomorrow, so both rush hours are A-OK. -okay. It's after midnight through Saturday when accumulating snow is possible, one to maybe three inches. I was looking at the different plots of computer models, and it's interesting to note the Canadian and is very aggressive compared to the RPM where actually nothing is reported. So I'm expecting anywhere between one to three inches maybe of snow and those three inch totals would lie south of I-80. Now the higher totals, three to five inches, would probably line up farther to the south, closer to Peoria and as you head downstate. Well, we have great visibility now. Winds are calm. 24 degrees is our current temperature and the clouds broke up for the moment, but I see them coming on the satellite review from the west. We have snow showers around Rhinelander and Green Bay tonight. Those won't bother us though, but what we expect is eventually the cloud cover to increase during your Friday. So through the night, we will see temperatures drop close to the lower 20s in Chicago, probably teens and outlying suburbs, starting with a hint of sunshine in the morning and then we'll watch the clouds increase throughout the day and especially into the evening rush and Friday night. Notice at 10 o'clock Friday night, if you're going out, still dry, 29 degrees. Then after midnight, we start watching to the south and west as snow tries to creep closer. A few snow showers by 7 a.m. Then as we get into the daytime hours, you can kind of see how these models are favoring areas south of I-80. Also note the temperature hovering close to the freezing mark, so a little rain may mix in. And the easterly wind at 13 could pull some dry air in on that easterly wind flow in the low levels, so that would hold off the start of the accumulating snow. Now these two areas of low pressure will be merging and also grabbing some moisture from the Gulf of Mexico and that will ride into the system as well. So we still have another day to look at it, but right now it looks like one to maybe some isolated three inch totals on Saturday, then Sunday is dry. So when we look at the plots, look at St. Louis, they could see six to maybe 10 inches of snow. We will see much lesser amounts. Let's look at the local plot here and again to the south. That's where we may see a few of those three inch totals. Places like Rensselaer, places like Kankakee, then go up to Zion, Waukegan, Kenosha, maybe nothing there at all, just because I think the storm track may stay to the south, but we'll watch it carefully tomorrow. So your weekend, half messy and half dry on Sunday, partly cloudy skies, 31 degrees. It's all gone for us. Robin, Erica, I think it's a good thing, even though it's like a slow moving system Saturday, we don't have rush hours to deal with. It would be a lot tougher if it was tomorrow, but it's on your Saturday. And mid thirties, right? For the next I seven days. I knew you would catch that. We'll take it. <laughs> Thanks.